Welcome back, everybody, to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host, T. How are y'all doing today? And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Nelly getting arrested for ecstasy possession and a lack of car insurance. Before I happen, please like, share, and subscribe. Let's talk in the comments, and please turn on your notifications. Okay, you guys, I am looking at Nelly like, what the hell are you doing? But Nelly has had drug allegations, essay allegations, all type of shit. He's had a lot of weird allegations against him for the longest. So I'm not surprised. Like, I'm not. Um, however, I don't even really want to talk about these raggedy ass allegations because I think there's just something more going on here. I have always found it suspicious that after all these years, Nelly and Ashanti now want to be public with their relationship. I'm just saying, like, it's a little bit strange. I think in the past, them two were genuinely dating and, you know, clearly they had a really intense connection. But now they're supposed to be getting a reality show. And, you know, now they have a baby. Now they're married. And it's like, that's, I'm glad that they're married. I'm glad that, like, they're, they're trying to do things the right way. And um, I definitely am glad he didn't allow Ashanti to be a baby mama in her motherfucking 40s. However, again, just going from such a private couple for years to now doing it for the gram and, like, being so outward and open, it makes me question things. I do think that part of this arrest is humiliation ritual. Again, they have a show coming, and I know how a reality TV show is. I don't think it's a good idea for them to be doing reality TV. I don't think any couple that's really genuinely together and genuinely happy and trying to make it work for the long haul, I don't think they need to be doing reality TV. But that's why I think that there's more to this story because Ashanti has been outed for selling ass in Dubai. And they have pictures that look real sketchy the way she was carrying herself on social media yeah of course and i don't take pride in like saying that but i keep telling you guys these people don't make that much money they live check to check gig to gig show to show hence them doing a reality show because why they need the fucking money Okay, like Ashanti's been performing big bellied and pregnant because she needs the money. She was selling ass in Dubai because even after all of the records sold, she needed the money. Women sell ass for money. So, you know what I'm saying? Like they, they don't do it because they just love to screw. They got plenty of hoes out here who like to, you know what? And they just find guys and they hump them. But when they start doing it for a bag, okay, well, it's all about the bag. She's not doing it for just pleasure. So I really do question the validity or the authenticity of them two getting back together. I really do. Because again, you go from being really private to being so public and open that you're on IG Live. You're, you know, really being public this time. And now you're about to go do reality TV. That makes me think that there's some, there's some motive behind this and that it's all about financial gain and industry gain again you were with nelly for years you were with other dudes for years now all of a sudden like you're happy to be pregnant i know how the industry works and guys one thing i don't want to slide by you guys notice how we're living in a time loop and that's what i really want to bring up here on some deep shit j-lo and j-lo and what's his name j-lo and ben affleck getting back together Britney Spears coming back into the spotlight and Nelly and Ashanti getting back together. It's giving, we're living in early 2000s all over again. I'm just saying. And it's just weird. Mind you, J-Lo and Ben Affleck were at the all-white parties hosted by Mark Rubin. You knew what go, you, y'all know what goes down there. We've talked about it. It's, it's an open secret what goes on at that party. They had kids there. Hmm. Sketchy. So, just things that I'm noticing. Um, again, it's, it, this might be humiliation ritual, but I I don't know. Do I think Ashanti and Nelly will be together long? No, I don't. I think they broke up and had issues for many valid reasons. I think Ashanti moves a certain way, and I think Nelly moves a certain way. Again, Nelly has been on them drugs. 
Ashante been not giving a fuck. <laughs> so I'm just saying, like, I'm 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 saying what I'm noticing. I'm calling I'm calling it like I see it. Like, I really do wish them the best because now they've brought an innocent child in the mix. But, again, I know how this industry runs off of children. And I know sometimes people will have had success for years and the industry is like, oh, wait, I know you owe me something. Because that's how the devil is. He always comes to collect. You don't just get to have success and never pay your tab. Now, I don't know of Ashanti having a history of family members dying. And so maybe this is how she's going to pay. I'm just noticing that. Don't let that shit slide by, you guys. Like, that happens. I notice that sometimes. Sometimes people will go years and they have success and everything's going good. And then somebody will either randomly die after many years or they have a baby all of a sudden. I just, I'm just, I'm just, I can't, I can't ignore what I know about the industry. And that's all that I'm trying to say here. I really, again, I hate noticing these things with these two because I like Ashanti, but Ashanti is not exempt from the rules of the industry either. So I just want to put that out there, you guys, you know, do you think it's a ritual or do you think there's any like you know again legitimacy to the story let's talk in the comments bye